Aquarius, welcome to your 2019 astrology. Wow, it is going to be quite the experience for you. Uranus is shifting signs, hasn't shifted signs for seven years, but it hasn't been in this position um, since 1942. It was there from 1934 to 1942. And for you, it's all about your home and family. There will be radical shifts and fundamental changes and rebellious, wild um, and life-affirming, fingers crossed, experiences around home and family. Uh, you may move, you may transform your environment, there may be additions to your family, there may be a complete new understanding about what family means. But on top of that, let's say you have a job that where you're a designer or you're in the creative industry or anything to do with the areas of home and family. If you're involved in those areas, there could be a massive uh, breakthrough for you and you moving forward and you putting your vision out there. And let's face it, you are the visionary of the Zodiac. This is your illustrious leader. It is your time to shine and to experience everything to do with home and family for the next seven years. So what does your home and family mean to you today? Um, do you like where you're living? Uh, are you interested in working in any areas to do with home and family? Is there something that you would like to shift would you do you want to express yourself in a different way when it comes to your family? Are you craving a different family? Do you how do you feel in general? Anyway, whatever it is you're feeling now, it's likely to radically shift this year and in the coming seven years. It's very, very exciting for you. You might feel a bit daunted by it to start off with because you know, Uranus doesn't move around very often. And even though it's it's always surprising and intense, this is a whole different area you're going to experience it in. On top of that, we have Jupiter, the planet of good fortune ex and expansion is going to be for most of this year in your position of destiny. Uh, well, not destiny, it's how to create your destiny on putting your wishes out there of cosmically ordering of a wish coming true in some way. Um, very magical because you're deeply connected to everyone and everything. You know, you're, you, you, you just are plugged into the mains of humanity. And when we're plugged into the one consciousness, we can draw things to us because that energy is already there. Uh, so whatever you wish for is already out there, but you have access to it in a whole different way this year. It's also very important who you collaborate with, who you socialise with. It's particularly magnificent for anything to do with the Internet, the web, social media, anything that connects people, anything that goes out there. In fact, you know, it may be that you go viral this year or an idea of yours that you're putting out there catches on. On the 20th of January, we have the sun entering your sign, which is a brilliant way to start the year. It happens to you every year, obviously, but you're feeling lit. You're, you're feeling excited. Your, your mind is whizzing around with all the possibility of 2019. I have to say on the 21st, there's a major event as we have a full supermoon total eclipse um, in your... Um, relationship zone. So you're feeling there's a, a, a shaking of your relationship zone one way or the other. It's a, again, another revelation. It's about revealing things. It's about anything hidden coming to the surface. You're probably fundamentally changing your uh, energy when it comes to a relationship. That doesn't have to be bad. It could be good. But it's like, this is a shift for the year. It's not just that moon. This year, you are changing in many, many ways. Now, on the 24th, Mercury goes into your sign. That's when you are magic with words. You're very persuasive. So use January as the time where you have a new start. You make that wish I was talking about and you move forward going, this is it. I, I'm removing any of the stuff I don't want to carry forward into 2019 and I'm off. And on the 4th of February, the new moon is really um, doubling down on that and allowing you to not only create what you want and, and, and speak powerfully, but to let go of anything that you don't want to take forward. And it's just like your brand spanking new beginning. When Mars conjuncts Uranus, you might feel on the 13th of February that there's an idea that you've had, a, some communication you've had is hitting a peak. You might, you might even be having an argument with someone around that time, but whatever it is, you feel very passionately about it. And again, Uranus gives you a spark of knowledge. Venus enters your sign on the 1st of March. That's possibly the best year for love and relationships. 
and you are hopefully working on your relationship with yourself, loving yourself. I mean, it will really help you to really love yourself and improve your relationship with yourself um, because there's so much potential when you love yourself and you support yourself and you're your own best friend and you really are, you know, taking care of yourself particularly in the way that you think, then you can take advantage of all the magic that's coming. And on the 6th of March, that's the big day when Uranus enters Taurus and your place of home and family. And your mind is opening up in a brand new way in those areas. We do have the sun conjunct Uranus on the 23rd, giving you, maybe the 22nd, but giving you uh, around that time anyway, a sense of where all this is going and a sense of confidence about your journey in 2019. We have Mercury, the planet of communication, joining forces with Uranus on the 8th of May. Um, and that is, again, big news. And you could find that you're talking about the shift that's coming in your home and family or something's happening. There's some information coming your way around that area. On the 18th of May, it's a fabulous time for you when Venus joins forces with Uranus. Uh, it's sparky, it's exciting, and it's all kicking off. Uranus goes retrograde from the 12th, so it may be that you're going back in time in some way, you may even be thinking about your childhood or where, what your visions have always been around home and family. On the 23rd, the sun enters Leo and your relationship zone, and you're feeling very much into uh, relationships and you're confident and whatever you've been dealing with in the beginning of the year to do with relationships you're like yeah sorted i've got it all down mars in leo trying jupiter in sagittarius on the 25th is allowing you again to really feel great about the people in your life not just lovers but friends as well and you're like yeah you should have a lot of support around you you should be going in a new direction um and then Venus enters your relationship zone in July as well. So there's lots of pockets of wonder when it comes to relationships this year. Um, Uranus retrograde on the 12th of August. Hang on a minute. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What am I saying? Yeah. So your um, I can't go retrograde twice. What am I talking about? Oh, I've just said it. Yes. 12th of August, he goes retrograde, as I've said. And um, that's the time when you're going back, because I've already mentioned that. Uh, Venus trying Uranus, some surprises, possibly even an attraction to someone. And it has to be a secret around the 28th or possibly, you know, lust overcomes you around that time. Just be a bit cautious. It's very exciting. But is it right? Um, and on the 3rd of September, there's a massive uh, intensity around you, which involves you going through a rebirth. And maybe you're dealing with your fears and really understanding your power. How do you feel about being a powerful being? Do you acknowledge your power? Around the third, you're having a revelation. We have um, Mars opposing Uranus on the 24th of November. Look out for some argy-bargy around that time. There might be some arguments or serious decisions to make between home and family and your career. How is that? I mean, you could even start to think about that now. How, how do you balance your work and family time? Uh, if you don't deal with it before the 24th of November, it could come to a head. Jupiter is changing signs on the 2nd and giving you a, a, a prelude to the following year where you'll be super psychic, super sensitive and have quite the magical mystery ride. We end the year on two fabulous things. Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, trines Uranus and um, some magic is happening towards the end of the year. And then Venus is entering your sign on the 20th of December. So you're like, yeah, loving it. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. 
horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.